Grab, grab, grab the instruction guide for this video down below. Hi there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to see you here. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I'm going to walk through how you can actually export specific records uh, from list views. And if you don't know what that means, just sit tight and you will in a moment. It's, a, it's an easy way to get some information out of your point of sale to Excel. And so uh, before we jump into that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, which is a wonderful group where you can ask any question you like on a post and over a thousand different members who are also using QuickBooks Point of Sale in their stores will chime in and will get your problem solved. Of course, I will also be there myself. Point of Sale export. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the best new point-of-sale videos coming at you all the time. QuickBooks point-of-sale to be exact. So, when I say list view, what am I talking about? Well, any of the lists, such as department list, vendor list, uh, also the history list, such as receiving history, where you have past receiving. And you got sales history, which is some of your past sales. And then we got the customer list. So these are all different lists where you can see some information about items and things in your point of sale. But you might not know that you could just export uh, a little bit of this however you want. Maybe you want to uh, sort it by last name and you just want to pick up the J last names. I don't know what you... I'm pressing shift down here by the way. If you press shift, you can highlight numerous items on a list. If you hold down the control button on your keyboard, you can individually select certain items on your list. And the place we're gonna be going is on the I want to menu. In the I want to menu, there is an export to Excel option. So, I'm curious if that's here as well. I don't think it is. I don't think it is on sales because you can't really get the transactional data out of the point of sale. So steer clear of that one. But uh, let's head to the item list. Maybe we just want certain items. So I'm going to do Star Wars Mountain Dew and these two items. And then I want uh, all of my QuickBooks shirts. I'm going to hold down control and do that. And I'm gonna head on the I want to menu and say, yo, export this to Excel. So if I export to Excel, it's gonna pop us into a nice little wizard here. It's gonna ask what we are actually trying to export. Do we want all of our inventory items? Do we want every one that is on this current display? And what it means by that is if you use this little drop down button up here, you can filter and you can, you know, narrow in on just certain items. And so if the display was narrowed, this number would be different. Maybe we would only be looking at one department or something like that, and you could just choose those items. Or you can actually just do the selected items. It looks like apparently I selected 11 items. And I'd hit next. Now on this screen, you're actually gonna choose where you save it to. So let's say I just save it into documents and I, I'm gonna call it, you know, special items and I'm gonna say worksheet one and then if you haven't dealt with mappings before that is how you tell it which columns you want to actually export you could do the default inventory template or if you hit add new you can go ahead and choose exactly which columns you want to export I would have a different video on that I don't want to take up your time so I'm just gonna do the default inventory template hit next and then I'm gonna hit the export button. It's gonna do these 11 items with the default columns. It pops up on my other screen over here. And now I have exported a list view to Excel of the exact items I wanted to get out and all the different information uh, on them. There's, I think the default template has almost every column on it. So there you go. We can see my sizes and my colors and that, my friends, is how you export items from a list view to Excel. Uh, namely, you can do that on the inventory list as well as the customer list, I believe. So if that was helpful at all, go ahead and smash that like button on YouTube. And my name is Peter Eastbold. Calling you from BlackRock Business, you have yourself an 
excellent evening. Bye-bye.